In this video, we'll start implementing our inventory system. Let's head to the source folder. We've got quite a few files here and we're going to be adding more. So let's start organizing these by creating a new folder. We're gonna call it entities. Entities will be anything that's you can think of as tangible. So a player, monster, room, even a level and any items, obviously. So copy those in there. Next, create a new folder. You can call it items. And this is where we'll put all our items code. Okay, we need to update, we need to update our make file. So we have to add in our entities folder. And later we'll add in our items folder. So it seems to be working, make run. Cool. Now in our entities, or sorry, in our items folder, we'll do new file. And we will save this as item.c. Include quotation marks item.h. Then we'll add that folder or that file in. So save this as item.h. And we need our include guard. So if not defined, uh, item underscore h, pound define. And if. Okay, so here we will define our struct. So that's going to be type def struct item. Now this is going to have this is going to have a uh, identifier called item type, and this will be an enum. So it's going to be the type of the item. We haven't used enums yet, but we use type def enum. And the name of the, the data type, which is gonna be item type, or not the data type. But. Okay, so here what we can do now is we can add in basically labels and the labels will get a numerical value. So we can do like what are going to be our uh, item types? It will be weapon. A lot of type in there, so we know it's a type identifier. Potion, underscore type. So we'll just start with that. Then what we can do later in our code is we can do like if type equals uh, weapon type, then do something. So this could be this would. Probably, I think this would be exactly the same as writing uh, type equals zero because this takes on a numerical value. So that'd be zero and then one. Makes readability is readability readability easier. It makes for more readable code. Okay, so we have our item type type. I guess any item could also have a position. Not exactly sure if we'll use that, but then what we also want is each type of weapon is going to have its own struct. So a weapon might have different features than, say, a potion type. And who knows, we might think up other strange item types. So we're going to use what's called a union. Union. What we can then do here is we can have a weapon type. So star weapon. Or we could have a potion pointer. And then we can uh, name this something. So we can say just item, item, item. <laughs> 
then what we can do is we can write something like if type is equal to weapon type, use the weapon pointer. But if the type is equal to potion type, then we'll use potion. Okay, so finally, we're also going to have a char string for the weapon, and it'll just be an array 256. So this is going to need a weapon type and a potion type. So that's going to be pound include weapon.h and potion.h. and position. Position.h. Okay, now obviously these two files do not yet exist, so let's create those. This is weapon.h. We need our include guard. We can save this too weapon.h not defined weapon underscore h pound define weapon underscore h pound and if then type def struct weapon we're gonna have a weapon type as well so we have an item type and we have a weapon type so a weapon is an item, but there are different kinds of weapons. So just call that there. And then we'll just do some simple ones like int attack and int uh, health. Because weapons can have health and they can, uh, if you use a weapon too much, it might disappear. I don't know, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna need another enum. So type def enum. So let's just do sword underscore type and spear. Yeah, spear underscore type. Great. I think for now we're just going to, we'll, ju we'll just get the weapon up and running and we'll worry about the potion in a different video. Okay, so we have this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a file called, in our source, in items, we create a new file. I'm gonna save it as itemfactory.c. So this is kind of maybe not really based on a design pattern where you have um, functions that return classes. So basically in this item, we'll be able to call like uh, create sword and it will create an item with a weapon type of sword and just return it as an item pointer. So it kind of call the function and it returns something that's uh, nicely wrapped up and hopefully this will make our code slightly cleaner. I don't think I'm using, or I know I'm not using the, fact, the factory pattern exactly correctly, but I wanted to do this. So, so it will include item.h and so let's just do a simple simple function like create sword. Okay, so create sword, um, what do we need? Well, we need an item. So it'll be item star item equals malloc size of item so that gives us our item and it will return an item pointer as well so item has a type so the item type here is going to equal uh, weapon underscore type Okay, and then so item has a string. So we'll do string, which we need to use string copy. So we'll use string copy, item string, and we're gonna copy sword to it. 
So, sword. So we need the item, item to be a weapon. So item, <laughs> item dot weapon. That's how you use a union. So if we were doing a potion, this would be like dot potion. We're doing weapon. So equals and we'll the malloc. And that's going to be size of weapon. So we're using malloc and string copy. So we want to include our rogue.h file. And that has, go to our rogue.h, that has standard lib, which has malloc. And we also need the string header. So string.h. Okay. Returning uh, weapon. Uh, sorry, item. And let's. Um, I guess we can set in an attack value and a health value for the sword. So item weapon attack equals attack. And then health too. Cool. So do we need anything else? Where's our item.h? Uh, item type we have, we need, oh, we need position, but ah, we won't worry about that right now. And yeah, I think that's it. Let's see if we can give our player an inventory. In player.h, we will add in an item array of pointers. So item star star items. And in player.c, we will allocate that. So that's new player items equals malloc size of item star. Now, give player starting weapon. So this will be new player items. And we can say equal. And remember our item factory, we can just do uh, create sword. And it will be a basic weapon. So an attack of one and say a health of 20. And that should work maybe. Um, we're gonna need to add this. So we can just add these in the item.h header file. Okay, now we need to add the items folder to our make file. Make file, copy this, slash item. And let's see what errors we get. Items, not item. There we go. Okay, lots of errors. So unknown type name item in uh, player.h. So we need to include item.h. Not, uh, so that's our union. I don't think that's a dot. Uh, what we can actually do is we can say weapon or sort, yeah, weapon star weapon equals malloc size. And then just copy this here. 
So here we've created a pointer to a weapon and then we can uh, do, here we set the values. Then we say item item.weapon equals weapon. So let's solve that particular issue. Unknown type name, weapon type in weapon.h. Uh, we didn't name it. So this, we didn't name our enum here. So just paste that in at the end. Uh, oh, in our item factory, we need to include weapon, wait. No. Okay, um, item factory weapon undeclared. Am I spelling that right? I feel like I'm not spelling that right. How do you spell weapon? Weep on weapon. I okay, I'm going crazy here. Ah, this needs to be here. There we go, that's better. So error max items undeclared. Oh, uh, I think I cut this part out. We want a global variable uh, that determines how many items the player can have. So, so we'll define that in uh, player.h, it's global, so int max items, and then we'll initialize it here. So just set it to 25. And last error, um, oh, we need player.c, uh, new items. Oh, we need to, so it's gonna be uh, zero now. We wanna keep track of how many items the player has. So in player.h, we'll just add another int, call it number items. And so the that will start at zero. And instead of using zero, we'll use that. And then we'll initialize, or we'll increase it. So new player, number items, plus plus. Yay, I think it's running. Okay, so we actually have no way of telling whether or not we have a weapon at this point. So we're gonna add in, in screen.c, we're gonna add in a new function. So it's copy print game hub. We will call it print inventory. And it will just take in the player. And we're gonna move to the line just below where we print the game hub and we will call it inventory okay now we want a for loop to loop through all the inventory items so we need a counter variable i equals zero i is less than player number items i plus plus and then we'll go print w and we will print the string of the item so uh, that's going to be player items i string should be at least uh, so this this function never actually gets called so we need to call it from let's see i think it's game loop so where's our game file game.c game loop so we're going to change this to while one and we're going to say if char is equal to q 
then we quit by breaking. So we break it out of the while loop. And we're gonna say if char is equal to, sorry, that's not one, that's Q, or char is equal to Q. And then if char is equal to I, we'll print the inventory. Or char is equal to. And then here we can just say else, we do all these other things. Cool, so if you press I, we're going to print uh, inventory. And you pass in the player, so that's level user. And then that, I think this needs to go in utils.h. Okay, let's see if this is working. So make, make run, start game, kill the spider. And then if I hit I, Boom, it shows up that we have an inventory um, of one sword. The inventory doesn't do anything for us right now, but we can obviously use this system now to, um, I guess, you know, find dropped items. And then we can also use the, the, uh, the item as a modifier in the combat uh, function. Yeah.